Hello my friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna Vella. Today is Friday and that means a deep dive. I've chosen a very controversial figure this time. It's the French author Michel Welbeck. Yes, you say Welbeck and not Wellenbeck or whatever. It's Welbeck. Wellebeck. And uh, he is, yeah, of course, a French author, very provocative figure. A heavy smoker, heavy drinker. He's 69, I believe. And he really likes to shock people. He really likes the shock value of things. And he's a bit of an attention slut, as we say in Dutch. An, an aandachtslut. Who is Michel Wellenbeck? Well, he is Wellenbeck, uh, he is an, a novelist, a poet, and an essayist. And um, his first big breakthrough was with uh, the elementary particles or the, yeah, atomized in English. It's difficult for me in, in English. I had to write it down, but uh, yeah, the elementary particles and atomized, atomized. And that's the first book I also read, uh, Les Elements Particules. Uh, particule, yeah. And uh, yeah, I know it was very provocative. I remember that. It, it's a long time since I've read the book. I think it's almost 20 years now. Um, I remember that I had mixed feelings, but that I had also the feeling that mm, he could be a good one later. And um, I gave it three stars then. So I wasn't completely put off by his writing and especially his subjects. Because he always writes the same kind of people. Um, it's a, mostly an older guy, not very likable, but not unlikable, uh, a bit, yeah, sex obsessed mostly, not this time. And yeah, a bit cynical, cynical figures. Then the other book that I really loved by him uh, was uh, The Map and the Territory, the Carte and the Gebiet. And I really liked that one. I, I uh, gave it five stars. I read that pff, 11 years ago, 12 years ago, I think. And that's a really good entry point for uh, Michel Wellebeck. Now, he is a person that doesn't like modernization. He doesn't like a state in a way. For him, France is a hotel and you don't have any obligations towards France. It's a place where you stay, but it's not a place you're connected to. It's the, the place you're connected to, or your connections, or your roots, that's your family, not the country. And yeah, he is very much loved. Well. He used to be attacked by right-wing right -wing extremists and left-wing extremists. And now more and more the right-wing extremists like him. And, uh, but then he starts doing things that will push them away. So yeah, it's, uh, it's a bit of an odd figure. He also has a lot of depressions. He has been hospitalized quite a few times. He smokes heavily, he drinks heavily, he uh, yeah, doesn't take care of his appearance at all. Although he's very, very wealthy by now. Um, he is often very sex obsessed, also in his private life. He was recently in the media for uh, a sex tape that he made with a Dutch uh, art collective and he had a threesome with his wife and uh, an only fans girl and um, yeah and then afterwards he said well no i don't want it published and he went to court and it's not going too well for him it's not the first time that he does that he whenever he is asked to do something collective after he does it but then afterwards he boycotts it. it it's always the same thing with him so he's a bit of a, a shady figure let's say now 
he also has a, a, a he also disappeared for a while and then he made a mockumentary about it uh, the abduction of Michel Welbeck um, you can find it on um, on YouTube I will put the link down below so yeah he's a, he's a, quite a strange figure now as I said before you can the best book to start I think is uh, the map and the territory uh, I think that's brilliant well it has uh, parts that are really brilliant and um, but this book I just read I read it in uh, less than 24 hours it's uh, the Dutch translation of Anéantir and it will be translated in English uh, with the title Annihilate. This is a brilliant book. I really, really, really loved it. It's also his largest book. It's about 700 pages, I think. Oh no, it's... Uh, yeah, in French it's 700 pages, but not in uh, Dutch. Uh, it's over 600 in Dutch and uh, yeah, I really really enjoyed it. Well, what is it about? Of course, of course it has its classical uh, Michel Welbeck uh, themes so a middle-aged man a bit yeah, cynic, but not very because he has ripped all the cynicism and uh, dirty talk out well, he, he has, has thrown it out of the window and what's left is a brilliant, very moving and very touching book. It's about a man, Paul Raison. He is the assistant of Bruno Juge. Bruno Juge. But actually it's uh, Bruno Le Maire. Bruno Le Maire is a minister, I think, of economics or something, or, or uh, justice, maybe. I don't know. I'm, I'm not sure. I will put it here. So he's his assistant, so he, he earns good money. He is married to Prudence, who is also very talented. They met each other in university and uh, yeah, they, they are two brilliant minds, but they've grown apart. They hardly speak to each other anymore. Uh, they don't have any, yeah, th th there's no connection anymore. They live in separate bedrooms. So yeah, there's nothing much anymore. She does yoga, she eats vegan, he doesn't know why. But there's still, I know, they, they are not resentful to each other, towards each other, so there's still love somewhere. And uh, there's no talk of, of a divorce or whatever, so yeah. And then there's... Um, uh, there's a movie posted on the internet where they decapitate the minister he works for, Bruno uh, Juge, but it's a deep fake. So it's a, uh, uh, they use a guillotine and uh, they show how uh, Bruno uh, Juge is decapitated. But it's deep fake and his, his boss of course wants to know where it comes from. And then, yeah, other things happen in real life, in, in his life. Suddenly he gets a phone call, it's his father, he is in a coma, and his father was the president of the Secret Service in France. And uh, then the rest of the family gathers, so you have uh, Hervé and Claudine, they represent the traditional French family, so they are very right-wing and um, uh, Claudine is very cath uh, Catholic, she goes to church, uh, they live in the suburbs, uh, they have very normal lives, but they, are, they aren't so normal. 
And then there's Aurélien, that's his other, younger brother, much younger brother, who is married to Indy. And Indy is extremely left-wing, and but uh, she's also very moral superior. And she mocks the whole family all the time, and even her husband. Uh, even to the point that uh, they have a child. But it's um, he is not the father. She doesn't want a child from him, so they go to uh, a sperm bank in the United States, and she gives birth to uh, uh, a boy of color. So yeah, that's also very strange. She works for Le Figaro, and but uh, Le Figaro isn't left wing enough. And then she also, uh, he works as a sort of, um, how you call it, a restorer of uh, national monuments. So yeah, it's always, there's always uh, things that doesn't really match. Other things happen, other attacks happen, there's um, uh, sinking of a Chinese a container ship with lots of Amazon goods and or uh, AliExpress goods or whatever they're called and uh, then there's uh, other uh, things that happen throughout Europe and he is asked to investigate but yeah there are a lot of things happening in his life and there's also um, it's uh, 1926 that it's set and um, so there's a sort of uh, Macron type of figure who uh, is at the end of his second term. There are the president's elections. And Macron wants to do a little Putin, uh, which means that he wants his best friend to be elected as president for one term and then he can do another three, uh, two terms. So who is his best friend? Well, that's a sort of a a TV figure, uh, TV presenter, and uh, yeah, he does everything so that figure will be elected and he can be his puppet in a way. And then uh, afterwards, he wants to get back to pres the, pres the presidency, just like Putin did. Now, um, all those things happen, and the more things happen, the more vulnerable Welbeck becomes as an author. And the more he provokes less, and he talks about how family is actually really important. That's your real roots and how Paul and Prudence fight for their marriage and the left wings doesn't, don't and how yeah it, it's, it's so incredibly sensitive and then you have the, the father, Eloire who was uh, who had that um, uh, who fell in, in coma, and then you have the, yeah, the the, the hospitals and the, the caring system that doesn't really see their father as a person, but more as a patient, and so they intervene and they do things that are not allowed, but they intervene nevertheless, and yeah those things have con consequences and but it's so beautifully done and so touching and chilling at times and he also writes about Philippe Lanson I've talked about uh, in a video I will put a link down below he was a victim of um, the shooting at Charlie Lebdo that was the day that his previous or yeah no yeah previous book no maybe one before 
submission was published on that day and Welbeck was so shocked by the events that he immediately stopped all promotion of his book. And uh, he met Philippe Lanson later because Philippe Lanson did a, was very negative about his book. He wrote a, a review just before he was shot down. So, and now he talks about Philippe Lanson in his book, about his book Disturbance. Um, I find it really, I, I thought it was really beautiful. I thought it was really beautiful that he did that. And yeah, there are so many beautiful pieces in this book that is so recommendable. I, I, I loved it. I really, really loved this book. So yeah, I hope you will remember this video till uh, uh, it comes out in English. I hope they press on a bit. Um, there's no date set yet, but I know it is in translation. So yeah, there's a, a lot to talk about. Of course, um, there will be criticism about uh, the, the part of the terrorists because there's no ending to it, but that's just a point. And you, we don't find out why uh, there are those attacks, which, which group it is. Because, like in my life, there have been terrorist attacks all the time. You had, uh, here we had uh, Les Cellules, Le Communiste Combattant, a communist combattant. Communism in the 80s, we were like, huh? Where does this come from? So there, there were only three people that, yeah, committed killings. And. Uh, then it are uh, Islamic people and then there are uh, maybe um, Christians that are uh, feeling the need to terrorize people. Then you have Anders Breivik and then, uh, yeah, terrorism can come in all shapes and forms and from everybody who has, um, yeah, there were even like in, in the Netherlands, there was a, a politician who was stabbed to death, uh, to death because uh, he it was a it was a radical vegetarian. I know. So it isn't. That's just a point that there's a sort of hopelessness when it comes to terrorism. There will be all always. There will there will always be terrorist attacks. And, yeah, it's just the reason that shifts, but not the attacks itself. So, yeah. So that's why there's no conclusion to that. And uh, I really like that. I thought that was brilliant. Not everybody gets it, but I, yeah, that's how I, I thought of it. So, yeah, I really like the book. I highly recommend it. You can read it in many, many, many languages. Um, in Spanish, in French, in German, in Dutch, uh, in Danish, in Portuguese, <sighs> a lot, yeah. But no English yet, sorry. But there you go, uh, this is my little uh, Friday deep dive, I hope you liked it and talk to you later, bye bye.